Imagine this. A channel with only 25 short videos already has 270,000 subscribers. And guess what? It only took a little over a month to get there. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make videos just like that for free. Sounds good? Let's roll. So while scrolling through YouTube recently, I stumbled upon this insane channel. And I mean, insane, guys. Their first video dropped on March 10th. And now... 270k subs, almost 500 million total views. And their biggest video? 82 million views. Crazy, right? Even the recent videos? All performing super well. This wow. is wild. So I did some digging. Turns out their videos are pretty simple. A cute little girl stealing stuff, gets caught, gets chased, but somehow wins in the end. Each video? Super short, like 15 seconds tops. What makes them so addictive? Two things. That mischievous little girl and the way the stolen items magically grow bigger and bigger. It makes you want to keep watching, right? Now you're probably wondering, is making this kind of video hard? Nope, not at all. In fact, you don't need any fancy skills. You just need three tools, chat GPT, to create stories and generate images. Kling AI, to turn those images into video. CapCut, to edit the final video. That's it, simple, right? All right, let's get started. First, we need a story, right? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I already prepared some story samples in a Google Doc. Just hit the WhatsApp channel link in the video description. You'll find everything you need right there. Next up, ChatGPT. Paste the story prompt I provided. Click send, boom. ChatGPT gives us three brand new stories instantly. You can use my sample or create your own. Pick your favorite and starts to generate images. Let's use my sample for now. ChatGPT's image generation is pretty solid and adding simple instructions will help keep everything consistent. Also, those yellowish tones in the target videos? Yep, looks like they also use ChatGPT images straight up. So, in ChatGPT, just click Create Image. Paste the Scene 1 prompt. Make sure to add 916 ratio so it fits YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels perfectly. Bingo. Scene 1. Done. Not bad, right? Now do the same for scene two. Paste the scene two prompt. Bingo. And then scene three. This time be sure to add this instruction at the end. The girl and the shopkeeper character, clothing color, etc. must be consistent with the previous picture. Why? Because consistency is key. Bingo. Repeat this process for all scenes until you have them all ready. Next step, turning those images into video. Open Kling AI. I use this all the time. Even without membership, you get 166 credits monthly. Or, like me, create a few accounts and you're good to go. Click Video. Select Kling 1.6. Upload your images. Copy and paste your animation prompts. You can skip negative prompt if you want. Doesn't really matter much. Hit generate. And guess what? It only takes about nine minutes to finish. Not hours or a day like some people say. By the way, timing matters. I did this at 5 p.m. LA time. Good tip to remember. Bingo. Your first scene video is ready. Repeat the process for the rest of your scenes. Not satisfied with one? Just regenerate. Look here. This second attempt looks much better than my first.
Quick Cling Tip Use smart camera directions to boost success rate. Example Running Use tracking shot to make it dynamic and avoid characters running out of frame. Slow walking Use handheld device filming to add gentle shake and realism. Final scene Use surround shot to make it feel joyful and complete. Okay, now comes this final step. Editing. Fire up CapCut. Import your video clips, sound effects, and background music. You can grab free sound effects from Pixabay and background music straight from YouTube Studio. Drag the clips to the timeline. I labeled mine for easy sorting. Adjust to 916 ratio. Scale the videos to fill the screen. Remove any watermarks. Since shorts need to be quick, speed up the clips a little so the total video runs about 15-20 seconds. Add sound effects like playful giggles or running footsteps. Then add background music. Tweak the volume so it doesn't overpower the sound effects. Give it one final check. If everything looks good, export it. Done. See? Super easy. Now let's watch the final result together. <laughs> Please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps me out and motivates me to make more tutorials like this. Got questions or want me to dive into another niche? Drop a comment. I read and reply to all of them. Also, make sure to check back often. You never know what new ideas you'll find here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Good luck.